I'm going to be demonstrating the scanning of a book using an 1899 edition of Wes John Wesley's works and the, using the software Advanced TIFF Editor to scan 300 dpi images. Um, the initial page in this book has a picture of John Wesley which will only really pick up, be picked up in grayscale. So I am going to move to the next page, being careful to place it back in the same place each time, then all the images will be aligned properly. Go to the next page and select black and white for this one. Again, make sure that the, the book is as flat as possible on the platen and go to the next image. I'm going to do about five pages just to show how this works. This is a Canon 9000F scanner, which is a professional quality scanner. We find that the cheaper scanners don't give uh, a good a result because the lamp is not as bright. And also that the software that comes with them is not as powerful as this one. I'll do one more page. Earlier I showed you the scanning process for a, a book, in, in this case a copy of Wesley's works. That was done on an external camera which doesn't give you the whole story of, of, of how to, to scan because most of the work is actually going on on screen. So I'm using screen capture software to record what's going on within Advanced TIFF Editor. So I have First of all, I'm going to, to ask for a preview of the page. The front piece, as I mentioned, contains a picture, but this doesn't come out well in black and white. So I'm going to switch to grayscale just for the picture. Within the multi-page TIFF file, you can have grayscale and black and white, and uh, that doesn't cause a problem what is an issue is the file size caused by grayscale images. This can be corrected later on to some extent by using the processing features of Adobe Acrobat but generally I scan all my articles at 300 dots per inch in black and white which gives you a much smaller file and usually the, the, the quality is sufficiently good. Next page is text, so I'm switching back to black and white. I'm scanning that, you notice that the pages pr are processed much faster in black and white because of the smaller file size. I'm going to scan four pages at random just to give you an idea of the process.
using such an old book which has got marks and irregularities is deliberate in this case because I want you to, to see how you can correct such errors and produce at the end what I hope is going to be a reasonable quality image with newer articles, books there shouldn't be so many problems and uh, if, you, if it works with really old material like this then you would have no problem pr publishing uh, new material okay finally you say no you don't want to go to the next page um, you can get a preview of your pages see this one is skewed because of the the regular binding of the old book uh, you can make sure that there's no gutters c going over the text uh, as you go through by escaping from the scanning process looking at the previews and if necessary deleting pages and rescanning them it's easier to do it at this stage than when you reach the end of a long scanning session and then you realize that half the pages in the middle are unusable because there is bits of debris or other marks on the page that make it unreadable. So I'm going to save it to the desktop using this file name and then that stage is complete. you've scanned your pages you can turn off the scanner and you'll be working for the next stage exclusively within the advanced TIFF editor. First of all you need to select all the pages the easiest way of doing this is control A and we need to rotate them so that they are all aligned correctly. I'm going to rotate page left and then going to make it full screen so you can see what's going on. Now you have as you can see a lot of material around the pages that is not going to be needed the uh, page edges can be cropped off again making sure that you are, all the pages are selected tools crop select and here you see you can move the the square over parts of the page that you want and these sliders in the middle will help you to, to, to fix the center of the page. What you're looking for is an equal space either side of the text which shows that you've got the, the page centered properly and then you click on OK and OK again and that crops the page for you. Next you want to split the page. Which is pages, split pages. The preview shows you a red line down the center and that looks about the center of the page to me. So again I'm going to click on OK here we have John Wesley himself I'm going to make that page full size again so we can, we've got the maximum amount of magnification that we need I'm going to use the selection tool to crop off the parts of the page that we don't need now you can select and then right click and cut and you can see that gets rid of all the the grey and the marks. An easier way is to use the mouse to select areas and then control X to cut. That means you can both use both hands. Don't worry about this image not being straight. We can fix that later. And this page we don't need so we can just delete it. again with the selection tool remove the page edges alt x uh, control x will, will remove your 
black marks and this is a spot there and take that out now that that page is not quite centered so I'm going to highlight that I'm going to go control X then control V and paste it back but then you're able to center the text and then click off it and that's centered the text for you and again crop using selection tool I'm going to drop that down the page as well as centering so if I do that that uses the page much better as we process it using Adobe you will see how these skewed pages can be rectified this page is particularly bad again so we want to center that image by cutting it and pasting it back into the middle of the page once you've got the rhythm of this you can move very quickly with it through a long document though I wouldn't scan more than a hundred pages at a time uh, I don't think the software is able to cope with much more than that the file size becomes too great and also if something goes wrong then that's an awful awfully large number of pages to have to rescan so if you've got a long book then do it in blocks and uh, then you can join the Ad Adobe PDF files together at the end and make one lo one large file right that it looks like it is more or less ready to move on to processing with Adobe Acrobat Writer final stage of the process is to open your file in Adobe Acrobat Writer. Now the file we're looking for is on the desktop and it's a TIFF file. There it is. Now once that's loaded into Adobe Acrobat click on document and we're going to ask it to do an optical character recognition selecting all pages and then select the language of your document there is a, a variety of languages you can choose from remember to distinguish between US and UK English in this case, it, in case it's UK English set the resolution to 300 because that's the resolution of your original what it's going to do is create an overlay of characters from the text which can be searched and you notice as it goes through the software will straighten the text so that's quite skewed but you can see as it finishes the page it straightens it up okay so if I switch to thumbnail view you can see that those pages are looking much much better and at this stage you can also see if you've missed any cropping any edges in which case you go back and correct the TIFF image and run the Adobe Acrobat again most of those pages are okay there is one final um, process you can do to optimize the page which gives you a smaller file size in most cases though you do have to che check this um, sometimes you get a slightly larger file size and you have to make a judgment whether the larger file size is justified uh, it gives you sufficient increase in quality otherwise just go with the original that was produced this is version 9 of Adobe Acrobat version 10 uh, it 
can do both processes is in one both the the optical character recognition and the uh, the optimization and once that's done it does take a few minutes this um, process is, is really the limiting factor on, on what so, sort of laptop you need if your laptop is not powerful enough to run Adobe Acrobat then you, you need to get a more powerful laptop um, that's look at the specs for Adobe and pick your hardware to match that there isn't anything else that is as demanding as this software for the process that we are we're carrying out now when I attempt to select now instead of just getting an image we, I get text that can be copied and pasted into a document and one that you can actually search for different characters so if I typed in Wesley see and go forward see it's found C there then if all you have to do is to save your file which again I'm going to save to the desktop and upload your file to the web.